Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. Welcome back to my channel. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Yes, hope you guys had an, a great, amazing Valentine's Day. I did my nails for the occasion, but you know, every day should be Valentine's Day. Of course. Oh, Anyway, as you guys can see from the title, today I will be doing a bridal review. I know it's been a while since I've done one, so I decided to do one. You can see behind me, um, this is a dress that I will be going over. And we're just going to go ahead and go with the video because there's three parts to this dress. There's the dress, there's the veil, and there's the skirt, detachable skirt. So we're going to go over the details, the fabrics, and the patterns that was used for this dress behind me. Perfect. So as you guys can see, this is the top of my bride's dress. It's very dramatic. And of course, the one thing that stands out are the colors. So she wanted royal blue and coral, so Rosky crystals. They're two different sizes. And I like the color. It's very different and it's unique. And I think that brides should have a wedding day with their own personal touches for their wedding day. Okay, so for this top portion here, as you guys can see, I use a nude mesh. And again, I use coral and royal blue Swarovski crystals. Now the lace is a 3D floral lace. As you guys can see, the lace did come with these maybe an inch and a half wide inch flowers. And that's exactly what she wanted. Some flowers um, I cut and I added to the top to make it more full. And the Swarovski crystals are placed inside and around and in between the lace. I love that. And I wanted to keep this part bare because this was just a lot. Like this was a lot. And I like how things are like uneven and it, it gives it a, your own, it gives the bride her own individuality when it comes to like uh, a wedding dress. Because you don't want to go down an aisle and see somebody or know somebody who wore the same thing that you did. That's why I like doing custom brides dresses. Now I'm going to put my hand underneath and as you guys can see, it's so pretty and it sparkles and... That's why I love using Swarovski crystals and not the plastic ones, but Swarovski gives me life. It gives me life. There's some on the sleeve as well, as you guys can see. And then with my hands underneath, you can see my actual fingers, just to, got, just to show you guys like how the mesh reacts in here. If my hand is in here, you can see that it's a great fabric. And the mesh is really good. If you're interested in to where to buy the mesh from or the lace from, I keep a list below and underneath all of my videos. Um, I got this lace though from Exclusive Fabrics right in the Garment District in New York City on 38th between 7th and 8th. I always have a list of the stores below, so make sure you guys go to the list below. They all have websites and they all have Instagram. All right, at the waist. So at the waist, I kept the silhouette of the lace from the fabric. I just cut it out and placed it on the waist. And again, I used the Swarovski crystals, royal blue and coral, and just placed that around and below the waist, you know, just to give it some shine. It's a lot happening here. And I think with the 3D flowers and Swarovski crystals and this hem of the lace, it makes it look very expensive and unique. I'm starting to get old, guys. Okay, so let me fluff out the bottom. The bottom is a bit wrinkled. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. Yeah, it kind of is, but don't worry. I'm going to steam the fabric before my client comes. Again, the base fabric that was used for this dress is neoprene, of course. As you guys can see, it's not heavy. It's very light. It just needs to be steamed. I had it in a garment bag for a while, so I'm going to steam it before she comes. And it looks really good. Okay, with the details now, again, the Swarovski crystals. I don't know if you can see it well on camera, but... Here there are royal blue and coral Swarovski crystals. I'm going to say that the whole entire video. Royal blue and Swarovski crystals. I'm not going to say it again. It's around the entire knee seam all the way around. And again, they're also on the hem going all the way around. And yes, for those of you who are asking, is neoprene heavy? No, it's not heavy. Um, is neoprene thick? No, it's not thick. Um, it's very comfortable and I like how it holds my clients. This client, she has more shape to her figure, so I think it will fit her perfectly. Um, and as you guys can see, it drapes and it flows pretty well. See, it drapes pretty well and it flows on its own. So you can definitely use neoprene for a bridal gown. And I have used neoprene in most of my bridal videos, so 
if you would like to see more of my bridal review videos go ahead and check that out it's on my channel as well okay so the second piece i want to show you guys is the veil yes i do custom veils and sometimes my bride she just wants a dress and she'll get the rest on her own but with this particular bride she wanted me to do her dress her veil and a detachable skirt so for this portion of the video i'm going to show you how the veil looks on me let me fold it up so i can show you guys some of the details before i actually put it on again i did add sorority crystals all over the dress but just to show you guys the details there's lace on the hem that i use with my sewing machine this was sewn the lace was bought for the hem and it was sewn by my machine and by hand to tack down and again i used the royal blue and coral swarovski crystals these little floral pieces here let me get closer so these uh flowers here they weren't um, hand sewn, I glued them because they were so small and they're so light. And then on top of that, I also glued the um, Coral Swarovski crystals. And then you know, with the, on the flower, it just looks nice and it looks pretty. And then I also have some blue on there. It's just so pretty. And then it's very long. Now for those of you who are interested in veils, it's very easy. The pattern is just really a big circle or an oval. And that's fine but again it depends on what your client wants so I'm going to show you different ways how I would or how I would tell my client to wear her veil it depends on the person personality and the dress and just what happens the day of the wedding so if my bride wants to wear short in the front and long in the back of course this is what you would do you can take the veil and you can keep it at breast length which is sorry this is the breast portion here and you can have the veil at the breast part, if you guys can see that. And if I do this, you guys can see the details of the Sorosky crystals and how the lace is flowing on the hem. Let me get closer so you guys can see this. Sorry, these are the details. So you have the lace on the hem that was hand sewn and machine sewn. Then you have the royal blue and the coral on the floral. So again, this stops at the waist and let me move back this is how long it is and turn to the back and this is how you can wear it if you want it equal which means half and half you can do half long in the front and half long in the back see how the front is at my waist and the back is really at my waist you can do this too just make it a little bit even and then you can have your flowers here in front of you you guys can see that it's the same length you can do that as well <laughs> okay so that's the bit on to the detachable skirt I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing but I'm just gonna show you guys from camera there is a detachable skirt video on my channel so if you haven't seen it go ahead and watch it I show you how to make it what fabrics to use, how many yards I use, and etc. Sorry, and etc. So go ahead and watch that video now. Okay, so also, this is my detachable skirt. It looks easy, it is easy, and it should be easy. Again, what colors do you see? Royal blue and coral. Yes, so there's royal blue and coral stones all over the detachable skirt. Again, the waistband was made out of neoprene, and I use the hooks. Let me zoom in. I use, can you see that? These are the hooks. These are the hooks that I use for the back portion. And there's one on the left and then there's one on the right. So bear with me because my waist is a 28. My client's waist is a 40. So she's a little bit bigger than me. So I want to show you guys how it fits me. I put it around the dress. So if I put this around me. You know, you fluff it out. And you fluff it out. This is how it would look on my bride. So she's short as well. But um, again, this is a little bit big for me. But I want to show you guys just the idea of what it will look like. And then from the side, once it's steamed and fluffed out, it looks really nice. And 
again my mannequin that I'm showing you guys this dress on is a size 6 and my bride is a little bit bigger than that so that's why everything is really loose and I've gotten a lot of questions what happened if your bride is bigger what happened if your bride is smaller it's okay you don't use your dress form for display you use it to create if you want a mannequin then that's fine you just pin it in the back and use that for videos and etc for videos I mean for video and pictures sorry but I'm showing you guys what it looks like as if it was on a person all right so everything is pinned I'm gonna fluff the front this is what the dress looks like with the detachable skirt on with the dress it's coming together it's coming alive and I loved it and it's very classy and it's creative and it's different again I have the mesh the 3d lace the royal blue and coral so what's the crystals this base fabric is neoprene and the touch the detachable skirt fabric again is also tulle if you want to know where I got my Swarovski crystals from again it's a list below and there's many stores there's high trimming there's B&Q trimming you can go to Move Fabrics or you can order them on AliExpress you can go to Michaels whatever you use just make sure you use something that's sturdy enough and again the glue that I used was E6000 I'm 100% hardcore uh, E6000 fan the smell doesn't bother me I think I'm immune to it for some reason um, I work quick with it so I don't really inhale it too much but I like using it okay see so pretty so pretty I love it because it's giving me vintage vibes for some reason it's giving me vintage vibes and because of the colors is ivory it's not white you have the ivory color you have the veil which looks like an antique it's so pretty because of the lace and then you have the royal blue and the coral it's just so damn creative and then you have the detachable skirt so you can take off the veil you can take off the uh, the, the i can't even speak the detachable skirt and it just fits well like i love it and then for those of you who are questioning how i'm going to package it up I have um, a garment bag, um, I put it in plastic and I give her a suede hanger and she can go out and have it in a garment bag. Remember to always get garment bags for your clients, plastic covers for your clients, um, and if you have your business card or your business flyer, make sure you in the, insert that in the plastic part on you guys' garment bags. Again, I promise you guys, oh, for the veil. I didn't use mesh, I used the netting. Mesh is a four-way stretch that I normally use. For this, um, I mean this stretches a little bit, but this is more like a netting, it's a little bit stiffer. I didn't want it to be loose and I didn't want it to stretch with the stones, so it's a bit stiffer. Make sure you guys know the difference between mesh, power mesh, and netting. It's three different things. And again, the patterns that I use for this, this uh, project, uh, I use my basic bodice, I use my basic skirt, I use my circle skirt. Um, the veil was freehand, which means I just looked on the floor and I made the shape that I wanted. Um, you gotta have a good eye for that. If you don't wanna just freehand it, you could put pins in the mesh and then go ahead and cut. Um, but practice with this first, with some cheap netting and tool. Um, and that's really it. And I like this dress, I really do. I really do like this dress. I think I'm gonna do a, a bridal review on when she comes to try it on. I'm gonna see. It's been a while since I've seen her. It's been a couple of months. Like, it's been a couple of months. She had, she was gonna have the wedding, then the wedding got postponed, and then I kept the dress for a couple of months. So, it's been a couple of months since I actually seen her, um, spoke to her, and since she, um, seen her dress. She hasn't seen her dress yet. I don't allow my clients to see their dress until pickup. That's why I'm so anal on details and colors. I go hard on all of my clients because they're all individual clients and they all have individual needs and they all have individual personalities and styles and it's up to you the fashion designer to bring those styles personalities and things like this to life so that's it this is a short video on my bridal review on this beautiful veil dress and attachable skirt and again what else Sabrowski crystals royal moon coral yay so yes, um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them below in the comments. Again, 
um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like the veil the skirt and the dress give it a thumbs up you see those bridal emojis below in the comments if you love this if you're becoming a 2019 2020 bride let me see those um bridal emojis below in the comments again make sure you guys follow me on instagram classic royalty make sure you follow me on snapchat classic royalty d as in david classic royalty d on snapchat again if you're not a subscriber go press that subscribe button and press that little bell button and again more videos will be on the way and make sure you guys watch my videos a lot of you guys wanted to ask me do you have this video do you have this video yes i have this video i appreciate you very much my royalty dolls my royalty kens thank you guys for watching i highly appreciate it and again thank you for watching my video and you will see me soon bye guys